Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. You guys, I got my hair done yesterday. Your girl got it cut. I mean, literally got it cut. But I love it. And I think it looks really, really cute. As you guys can see from the title, you already know what we're going to be talking about today. I have never been so excited for an e.l.f. release ever. So, yeah, this is going to be a good one. We have a lot of stuff to review, so definitely chill out with me and let's get started. So, this is quite a big collection. Uh, so, I'm going to show you guys everything that we're going to be reviewing today. I have four different items from the collection. First off, we have the eyeshadow palette, and I think this is so gorgeous. This color story is amazing. And then we have the Glow Up Body Oil. I don't have any of this, so I really wanted to pick this up. And then I also got the Line and Shine Lip Kit, which, you know, you guys know I love my brown lip liner and gloss, so I had to pick this up because there's three shades of brown and a pink so I thought that was gonna be a really 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 good item to pick up and lastly I got the multi-dimensional face and body glitter I'm really really excited about this I got this in the shade Luna this is the lightest one I have my reasonings and we'll get to that when we get to it but that's everything we're gonna be reviewing today here is the eyeshadow palette it says retro paradise here I think this is absolutely stunning guys this palette retails for $14 which I think is such a steal I think it's great and it's it's such a great price point and when you open it up wait till you guys see this I mean like wait till you see this oh my gosh look at how stunning this is this is so stunning I love these shades like this really brings me back this really brings me back. This like reminds me of the Caribbean. This collection was made by a group of influencers and they were in the Bahamas when they created this collection, which I think is so cool. And this is what this looks like. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try something new today. Let me know how it works for you guys. I'm gonna go off camera, create a look with this eye so I know exactly what I'm doing. And then when we come back, we're gonna do it together. If you guys don't like that, let me know. I'm just trying it out just to see how I like it. So. I'll see you guys in a second. All right, so I went off camera and I did one eye. Before I go ahead and get started with this eye, I wanna just swatch a few of these shades for you guys. So we're gonna swatch Rise and Shine. This is a stunning like gold shade. That is so beautiful. Let's swatch Paradiso. Which, oh, that's a duochrome, but it's also a topper. Wow, I'm gonna build that up. Because I thought it was going to be... Oh yeah, it's really, really like light. So it's a duochrome, but it's not, it's not as like bold as this shimmer. And let's swatch... I'm not going to swatch the ones that I'm putting on my eye because it's going to... You guys, you're going to see it on my eye. So let's go ahead and swatch Bar Ma. Oh, that's a pretty green. It does look sheer on the finger. We all know how like pastel shades can be. But that's it right here. That's really pigmented. Wow, that looks so bright on camera. And let's swatch Tropicana, which is this beautiful pastel pink. I, did, I stayed away from the pastels today because I just did a look with the Morphe palette using some pastels. So that's enough of the pastels. That's a pretty shade. Lastly, let's go ahead and swatch Nightlife, which is the darkest shade in the palette. Let's see, is this a black? This looks like a black. Let's see how this swatches. Uh, that's let's swatch it again right here that's not the best black ever yeah that morphe black that was a really good black but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in and show you guys how these perform i created such an easy and simple look first thing i did was take the shade right here which is fuego and I just put this in my crease. This shade is really, really gorgeous. I loved that shade all in the crease. So that's what we're going to do. You guys see this shade? It's so pretty. And it's really pigmented. This is like my perfect transition color. Once I had that blended out in the crease, I went in to the shade. Where is it? Oh, I'm sorry. I said that this shade was Fuego. That's Spice. I went in with Spice in the crease. And then I went in with Fuego to blend out Spice. That's in the crease. So 
So just taking Fuego and blending it right above Spice into each other. And it just creates this beautiful, beautiful color and it's so gradient and beautiful. Next, what I did was take the shade Coconut. Okay, so there's so much fallout in these pans. That's one thing that I was noticing. The fallout is ridiculous. I I had to go and redo my under eye makeup because of the fallout. Like, there's so much in this pan, guys. You guys see that? Over here. So much fallout. So I would recommend to do your base last after you do your eye makeup because yeah it's just too much fallout and i will say i also wish that there was a mirror in this palette i keep like when i dig into a color i keep wanting to do this but i can't because there's no mirror so i have to like put this down and pick this up so it's a little bit of a hassle not gonna lie but it's not the end of the world i have a mirror here it's just really nice when you have mirrors included into palettes I took the shade Coconut and I just placed it in the outer corner to add some depth into this look. And Coconut is a brown that you kind of have to build up to the intensity that you want. I could have just went into the black, but that would have been too harsh for this look. I have so much fallout on my face right here. Can you guys see this? This is fallout from that shade coconut. So now I have the shade coconut all in the crease, which I love how these these common the combination is really really pretty. Like I love the combination of all of these of these three shades together. This is a look in itself. If I had just taken coconut and put it all in the lid, I would have felt like I was done. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease and then I'll be right back. You guys already know I love to use P. Louise in the shade 2. So that's what I'm going to go and cut my crease with and then I'll be right back. So now my crease is cut and I'm going to go in with the shade Disco right here. I'm going to put this shade right, not in the beginning of where my cut crease starts, but like right in the outer slash middle. Right there. And just build it up. I love this shade. Disco is one of the prettiest shades I've used in this palette so far. Next, I went in with the shade Sip Sip. And then I put this in the inner corner of the cut crease. Disco and Sip Sip do not have any fallout, which I love. These are just so stunning. Next, I went back into the shade Coconut to redefine the outer corner and just kind of blend it into the shade Disco. Just making sure it seamlessly blends like that so there's nothing harsh on the outer corner. And then I took the shade Disco, which is this one right here, this navy blue shade, and I just put this on my lower lash line. And for the absolute last step, I went in with the shade Sea Salt, which is this shade right here. I love this shade as an inner corner highlight. I think this is going to be my go-to inner corner highlight, but look at this. That is beautiful. So here is the final eye look. Very pretty. Next, we're going to go ahead and talk about this baby right here. This is the multi-dimensional face and body shimmer. This retails for $10, and this is in the shade Luna. Now, I love the packaging of this. Like, the packaging is so pretty. Oh, like, I love this packaging. It is, like, so retro. I really do get a retro feel from this, and... This color, this coral color, is really, really, really beautiful. There's another one in the collection, also for $10, and it's a lighter pinkish type one. But this one really does remind me of the moon. So when you swatch it, it kind of has like a yellowy reflect. Let's see. Oh, it's really smooth. Like, that went on really beautifully. I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of this. I don't know how this is going to look on me. But we're just going to see. So it's not, there's not that much on the brush, but I like that. I, I like to build up a highlight. Oh, wow. That's really glittery. 
that's what it is it's glitter <laughs> it looks like glitter guys really pretty on camera but in person it just looks like glitter so this is not a highlight I would use every day this is a pretty body highlight and not an everyday highlight oh oh my god I almost forgot so while we're here I did end up picking up a bunch of these elf multi flare highlighters I did open up one because I was so intrigued but I haven't opened these but I decided that I'm gonna go ahead and include the white gold highlighter into a future giveaway so Definitely stay tuned for that guys because when I hit 500 subscribers, there's going to be a huge giveaway. I've already started collecting for it and I'm really, really, really excited for when that time comes. So I'm going to go ahead and add this to that giveaway. I have the Rose Gold and the 24K Gold. I'm going to go ahead and open up this one. I did swatch the Rose Gold one and I kind of wasn't the biggest fan. But I'm hoping that the 24K gold one is really, like, pretty. So I want to go ahead and compare. They are the same size, which I love. The consistency elf, I love that. Uh, but, yeah, so this is the 24K gold. And when you put your... It's kind of, like, rough. And it's not as, like, sparkly. Like, you know. But I do want to try some of this one. The rose gold one, I'm not going to try it because I already know. didn't really like the color that much. But I am going to try this on the face because... A swatch is just a swatch, you know? So I'm just gonna use this on my nose. Oh, I see. So this seems like it's like a subtle highlight. This is so subtle. I'm gonna go ahead and put some on top of this to see if it'll help. <laughs> oh, oh my God, if anything, it made it more like bold. Oh my God. Whatever. We'll just, just, just hide that. We'll just hide that. <laughs> All right, so next I want to go ahead and talk about the Glow Up Body Oil. This retails for $12, which I think is a very, very fair price point. This is in the shade Golden Hour. Oh, and it comes with a pump. I love, love, love that. Didn't buy a Kabuki brush. It came with the collection. I didn't buy that, but I do have... Oh! I'm dropping stuff. But I do have my Kabuki brush from Soul Body, so I'm going to go ahead and use this. And we're just going to do, should I, I kind of like to put it on my body and do it, but let's just go ahead and try. Is it coming off? Oh, okay. I don't know if you guys can see. Okay, there we go. Oh. Oh. Oh, that smells so good. It actually is giving me such a beautiful glow. Do you guys see that? So here it is here, and then blend it out, kind of. That's beautiful. This has to be one of my favorite products from this collection thus far. Lastly, my favorite part that I'm really, really excited about, this is the Lip and Shine Kit. This retails for $10, which I think is such a fair price point. This is amazing. So it comes with four lip liners and a gloss. Here are the four lip liners really excited i'm gonna use the darkest one this is the product i'm most excited about very creamy it's gliding on very nicely from the looks of it already this is not as dark enough a brown for me i need something so much darker i don't know i don't know that's just me that's just my preference but here's the gloss right here. This looks really pretty. It almost kind of looks like that Luna highlighter. And this is in the shade A Moment. And I'm ready for this to be a moment. For real. Ooh. Wow. I like to wipe off my applicator because I don't like product to transfer. So I'm going to go in again with another dip. Oh, okay. So, this is very glittery. This is a gloss where you do this and you feel every single speck of glitter, which I do not like at all. It is a moment. I'll say that. The color is really, really, really pretty, but the feel of... The glitter on your lips when you do that, it just feels so gritty, and I'm just not a fan of that. That's just something I'm not a fan of. I don't know what your preference is, but 
you know, it really depends on your preference, on the kind of glosses that you like, but it's not a sticky formula. It's just gritty when you do that because of all of the glitter in this lip gloss. Now for my final thoughts. We had four items we tried out with this collection, and the one that I do want to start off with is the eyeshadow palette. I do think if you could look past all that freaking fallout that comes on your face, or if you could try to do your eye makeup first and then your base, I do think that this is definitely worth a pickup. The color story is really pretty and it really drew me in. Like it drew me in. All of the shimmers that I tried were stunning, amazing. I loved every single shimmer that I tried. And I really do love the look that I created. It's just that fallout was on my face and it was messing up my makeup and I didn't like that. But yeah, so lesson learned. When I use this palette, I have to do my eyes first. And when I'm not filming, I always do my eyes first before I do my base. But yeah, $14. Do think it's worth it if you look past the fallout multi-dimensional face and body shimmer it does say body shimmer i didn't even put this on my body so <laughs> let me go ahead and do that let me take some of this and put it here and there here oh that's oh, that's pretty okay body shimmer love it love it love it love it as a body shimmer very stunning as everything else on the face no no, 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 no. I can't deal with this on the face. But yeah, so here it is. Just so you guys can have a final look at the color and how it looks. That's this highlight. This is in the shade Luna. The body oil. I love this. This was one of my favorite things I tried in this collection. And I do recommend this. I don't recommend getting the highlighter and this. I mean, it's only one body thing would be enough, honestly. But if you want both, definitely get both. But if you had to pick one, because one is 10, one is 12, and if you're really just trying to ball on a budget, i go for the body oil. They also have the body oil in another shade that's lighter. It's kind of like a champagne gold, but this one I think is really pretty. And lastly, we have the lip kit with the four lip liners. I only tried the one lip liner, and it was the darkest one, and it still wasn't dark enough. I don't know. Uh, so here's what I want to say about these. This gloss not a fan like it's so much glitter in the gloss which i love a glittery gloss but i want the sh the glitter to be really fine where i can't feel it and i can feel this it feels like a bunch of stuff on my lips like just like i like went outside and stuff got stuck to my lips that's how i feel it's not a sticky formula but i will say that with this collection they did release individual glosses for five dollars and some of them don't have glitter in them which i think it would be a cool formula to definitely try out if this didn't have the glitter in it i would feel so different about this particular gloss so maybe try out the other glosses in the collection they are five dollars each they don't come with the lip liners the lip liners only come with this kit but, I mean, this was a $10 kit, so if you feel as though you can, you'll get your $10 worth with just these four liners and occasionally wear this gloss, then I really do think that it could be worth a pickup for you. But for me, I just wasn't a fan. So, yeah, those are my final thoughts about this collection. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it's kind of long. We had lots of products in this review. So, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.